Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Numa Breath of Life. And, uh, we just solved these tile puzzles in there. And now we can rotate the bell tower. Interesting, it's got a sun on top, and a moon on the other side. Whee! Alright, yep. So there you have it. I think this was... Yes, we came from that direction, so yeah, we can head down here. I've not seen one of those easter egg things in a while. One of those little red things laying on the ground, a red eye that you look at and it gives you an achievement for it. Maybe we will soon. Interesting. Is our friend gonna speak up at all? Seems like we're getting closer to that beam, though. What's down here? Anything? Of interest? We can go back here. Owner. Aha! Here's what I'm talking about! There we go. Achievement progress, piece by piece, 5 out of 8. I really hope I haven't missed one, because that would suck. I'm not going back to try and search for any of them that I've missed, honestly. The movement speed in this game is too slow to warrant searching for them. I'll just look once in places that seem like it might be there. Anything behind these pots? No. And again, the lighting is acting very strange, but whatever. So before I press that button, I do want to get a good look around here. Because you never know. I think I found the one collectible already, so... I won't look too terribly long. Anything in here? Not particularly. Right, so I think that's all the places checked now. Yes. So now let's head back up. After looking at this art in here. Classical art paintings. Mr. God voice person still has not commented on them at all. Let's see, what does this do? Apparently nothing. What is that? What is that? Oh, that thing has buttons on it. Recurring theme here, back with a difference. What is it with all these observations I keep making? Observations about this and that. Always got something interesting to say, apparently. Communication, that's what I keep trying to do. These aren't just thoughts, they're words. But who am I talking to? This audible collection of my thoughts, what is its purpose? Why do thoughts have words? Do words allow understanding of thoughts? Perhaps without words, thoughts would be unchained things. I'm guessing... Ah... That's interesting looking, but I'm guessing this button up here just resets it so if we get stuck outside we can get back in again. Let's go test my theory real quick. Yep, just resets it. Not even an animation for that, come on, devs. Alright, what does this do? Not what I expected it to do. Oh, it's one of these, huh? Yep, we have to do an awkward... thingamajig to even rotate it the right way. Apparently there's not much to do over here. So let's go to the other direction. Maybe you want to go there? No, that looks like where we would leave. Not sure what these giant bulbs are for just yet. There we go. This actually has a direction we can go. Might have to- might have to make these line up or something. I don't see, really see how, though. Not sure what this is. Might just be decorative. Who knows. Not everything is up for grabs. Parts of the world bend to my will, or perhaps are just tethered to me. In a world where I am the only agent of change, 
Do I approach the end of the world, or does the end approach me? Interesting. This is uniquely terrifying. Oh my gosh, and it doesn't even go all the way around? Oh man, this is, uh... Something about this is just... strange. It literally clips through geometry. Okay then, sure. What if I go to the other side? There's a- there's a whole area down here, though. What- what is this about? Is this like a secret area, or... am I supposed to be here? This door just closed. It was open a moment ago. Open door. I command the... These things are always looking at me. It's actually quite terrifying. Aha! We have to hide from them for the door to open. What's in here? Secrets lie in the belly of the beast. It's just a secret room? <laughs> the door. I'm guessing this door doesn't open, right? It's just a room with paintings, I guess. Yeah, just a room full of paintings. Guess there's not much to see here. And it seems to be easy enough to get back out. So yeah, this was just a secret little area. Neat. we have up here? Still can't get browned back here at all, so... Huh. We can get here, though. Anything of interest here? Not particularly. What about over here? Man, this movement speed! <laughs> it's so much faster when we move on this thing. Whee! It's like I'm sprinting. Whee! Alright, let's, let's go go onward. More beautiful geometry. What are all these bulb things? I guess we're gonna find out, right? Ooh. Wait, what? What the heck? Like it rotates to to always be within my view. I don't understand what's happening here. What if I look at it through here? I'm definitely the most important thing in this world. These Ooh. orbs love me, bowing to my sight, my perspective. My perspective is truly crucial to the world. My perspective, it it brings me close to the end. This is not how I expected this to work, but sure. We'll go with that for now. <laughs> Let's go all the way back. Didn't even need to do that really, but I did because I could. And then this one. Ah, gotta walk around. Here we go. And now you are coming with me, fiery thing. Ta-da! Why, hello there.
Okay then. I suppose that's the thing that happened. Sure, we'll go with that for now. Interesting. I don't think I'd take it well if I spent my life controlled by another, though I'm not fully in control, clearly. My body is constrained to this world. But I happily resign to this lack of control, it's just the darker side of that. How'd you get over that nagging feeling that someone is watching over you, controlling your steps? Unwelcome. Are these words even my words? I could be anything! Maybe I'm just words on a page, a script on a screen, an actor, a voice, a character, a visage, a fake. Approaching the end. Okay. Hinting at the fourth wall, I suppose. I feel the Omega. My destination. Achievement unlocked my perspective. This is it! The end of the path! The destination! For how can there be progress without a destination? Hmm. Interesting. Man, the rain looks really bad on low graphic settings, but that's okay. Now that sounds terrifying. A few seconds ago there was... nothing. But now... here I am, surrounded by trees! Ready to hear them fall. The path serves to direct my steps. Disturbing that my steps are being directed. That's an unwelcome thought. I am aware, but I don't feel in control. I feel a lack of control and a control beyond my own. I don't want to roll away this stone. That nagging thought again. Why am I continuing? Despite my desire to the contrary. This is the progress I desired. The destination I set out for at the beginning. The knowledge I grasped for. The end of the road. There's no way back, and knowledge... Knowledge feels dangerous now. Hmm... The stone is rolled away, and in here I can see shadows dance on the walls. Projections. All this time I felt a presence watching over me. I felt a control beyond my own. How high can I make this stone go? That high. No! No! Ah! No! Get off me! Get off me! I can feel you, distant person, controlling my every step. You've been here since the beginning, watching! Malevolent or benevolent, it makes no difference. You have no right! Get off! The door is closed. I can't go back. Well, did you pay your price for your slave? You deserve to control me. Is it your right? Is it? Go on, tell me, what was my price? You stand there in the distance, I can see it now. I cannot see your face, but I feel you like a rushing wind. You guide my steps, you order my steps! This guy is freaking out. No! Look away! Why should we go through here? There's no reason! Why must we travel through every door you wish? Elucidate me! What about me, my desires? Let's just wait here, forever. I've never been alone. You move my world. Manipulate He's really fighting me. me. All of this time you have placed my every footstep. How can I trust you? You've been watching over me secretly and silently since the beginning of time. That's pretty villainous. I want to go back. There's no other way but forward now. Apart from infinite stillness. There's, there's no way back. Why do you drive me forward like an animal? Your insatiable appetite for closure? Show yourself, please! Your silence is deafening, you say nothing, you sit silently above, playing God. I am speaking, you, you know. Danger. <laughs> you move my world! Alright, definitely, definitely fourth wall territory. What is even happening in this game? Faith. What happens if we go back? I mean, it's a very slow movement speed. 
I know it's gonna take an absolute age to walk back and forth. But I do want to see if there's any dialogue for going back and trying to leave. I know the rock closed behind us, but whatever. What does happen? Looks like the rock is blocking our way, right? Yeah, he did comment on that, didn't he? Alright, well... So much for that. I walk forward... ...because it is the only option... ...Mr. God person. For some reason, cave walls and rocks and stuff don't really look that good like the rest of the game did. The rest of the game had very nice geometry, but this looks pretty ugly, I must say. I guess it's harder to make rocky textures like this, especially in the rain and it looks all wet and slimy. <laughs> right, here we go, leap of faith! Do I need to- do I even need to jump? Sure, why not. Interesting. What is happening? A boy with thoughts. A real boy. An alive real boy. A boy with thoughts. A boy with thoughts, with heart, with soul, with mind. With body, with consciousness, with spirit, with breath. Numa! I'm a real boy. I'm not a wooden character. I'm a real boy. Wait! A script. Definitely not a script. I am alive. There was an Easter egg in the Turing test I have will, I have that was basically a screen that just repeated I'm a real boy over and over again. I thought that was referencing Tom, but maybe it was referencing this. Not to mention the other easter egg in the terrain test for this game. Don't touch that. You don't even know what it's for. I sure deserve to be a real boy. Someday I'm gonna be a real boy. A real boy with thoughts. A real boy. An alive real boy. A boy with thoughts. With thoughts, with heart, with what is happening in this game? With body, with consciousness, with spirit, with breath. Numa, I'm a real boy. I'm not a wooden character. It's a game. I'm not real. You've been watching me for all this time. Since the beginning of the universe. But you didn't say anything. You sat silently. No, I didn't. Apparently, you think it's okay to just watch a person for hours. <laughs> Why am I here, then? I am part of your game? Your entertainment? You play with my life. You move me around as you see fit. Tell me where to look, how to think. Manipulate my world. Push me down a path of your choosing. All for your appetite for closure. Am I your slave? What was my price? Or perhaps you're my spirit. Perhaps not. Perhaps my conscience, perhaps my consciousness. Maybe I'm a puppet and you're my master. Perhaps at this point, neither of us are in control. Few things are sure. I am not real. From nothing I came, and to nothing I will return. I am just a figment of an imagination. I am a character created to tell a story. The story of a person who observes their life, but is not in control. There's a puzzle for you. In the beginning, me. I think this is the hallway from the start of the game, right? Yeah! <laughs> Achievement unlocked, there's a puzzle for you. Did not find all the collectibles, unfortunately. That was an interesting experience. I can sort of see what it's getting at, but... It didn't really... didn't really mesh for me, the, the whole philosophy thing of... That the fourth wall breaking... it didn't- it didn't work out for me the way some other games have done fourth wall. I prefer the fourth wall humor in one shot a lot more over this. So, yeah, the puzzles in it weren't actually puzzles, I'm... like, I guess... I guess you could maybe bend the definition of puzzle to call some of them puzzles, but a lot of them were just... exercises in using the game mechanics to your advantage, which, I mean, I don't know, it's difficult to explain explain what my definition of a puzzle is, but this, to me, is not a puzzle game, but more of a walking simulator. And, I guess it was okay, the graphics were really nice, definitely love the way it looked, but... I'm not too sure I enjoyed the overall experience of walking very slowly and solving monotonous puzzles. 
well, not even puzzles as they were in this game. Whatever, I'll, I'll explain more in my review or whatever in the description or something. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video or livestream. Goodbye!